Hello, welcome to Layers with Larry. I'm Larry, and these are all my layers. Hi, well, welcome back to Layers with Larry. For a little, uh, special episode on um, a little bit of map uh, reading information. And uh, for, for our purposes, of course, since we focus so much on geology, um, we'll start talking briefly about uh, topographic maps that most of you are probably familiar with, especially if you go hunting or hiking. Uh, you like to, before you go to an area, you like to have an idea of what the area is going to be like, what the terrain's like, the elevation, how easy or hard it is to get into the area. So uh, we'll uh, talk about what those are, I'll remind you about what those are, and then transfer that knowledge over to this funny little cartoon looking thing. Uh, if you've never seen one before, this is a, a geologic map. Um, so we'll get to that in a minute. So on the topographic maps, um, it has a scale. It tells you, uh, you know, like an inch on here represents a certain number of feet or miles or whatever, depending on the, the, the scale of the map. Um, it has uh, scales down here that you can uh, relate to the map in terms of miles and kilometers and meters and so forth. It also has this part labeled the contour interval of 40 feet. So if you're not familiar with contour lines, there are all these little funny, wiggly, squiggly lines. So when you understand these maps and look at them, you'll see that even though they're a flat map, you actually can see sort of three-dimensionality in them. Uh, so wherever you see two contour lines, the, between them is 40 feet in elevation. So the closer the lines are together, like here, for example, you can see it very close together. Those are very, very steep sides. So that's a very steep little canyon there down this creek. Uh, the tops of most of the um, points, the highest points you see, end in a little continuous circle, and they're mostly marked with an elevation. So uh, just a brief reminder of what, uh, what topographic maps are all about. Uh, thank goodness when they, uh, when they do uh, geologic maps, they still use the topographic map features. Here we see the contour lines, we see the numbers indicating the the number of feet of uh, the elevation, and again, a, a, a legend that tells you the contour interval. It's typically 40 feet, and so again, we have 40 feet, like on a typical topographic map. And this is a really neat geologic map in that it shows the area that we're familiar with. There's the town of Cody down here. We can see Shoshone Canyon running up through here. Um, over on the side, it. It tail, each of these colors corresponds to a particular formation, a particular one of Larry's uh, layers, um, starting with the oldest. So, uh, so this is actually the oldest part, so this would kind of go down below that. So the very oldest, the Precambrian, like we've talked about, up through the Paleozoic, which we've talked about, into the uh, Mesozoic, which we've talked about, and the Tertiary, and at the top. So the Willwood Formation, we've already done a video on. Just a real quick thing that you can, see cool stuff on it in the geologic map is let's take Shoshone Canyon for example. It runs, uh, this is the uh, um, east and this is the west. Um, sometimes what they'll do with these geologic maps is that they will do lines. So you see here it says B to C and there's a line that goes through there. It means that where it says B to C or B to B prime here for example, it's showing you underneath the ground what those layers look like. Here's the canyon right here. Uh, and on the, when you get through the canyon on, on the other side of Rattlesnake, you know, you have those uh, flat iron rocks and they're formed by these. They used to be flat layers, horizontal layers, but when the Rocky Mountains formed and this layer was all pushed up as a big block, it dragged up against this side. So all these are, are, cur are, are, are vertical now. They used to be horizontal. You can see how that blue line connects with that blue line. They used to be one continuous layer. And um, you know the, the layers that you see when you go up the canyon, you, the, the tilt is, is clearly shown here. Oldest at the bottom, youngest at the top, and uh, we've covered those in a previous video. So geologic maps are available online at the Geological Survey, uh, both the um, Wyoming State Geological Survey as well as the uh, United States Government's Geological Survey um, site. Um, most all of them are available online, but I like actual maps and you can still get some of these. Uh, they're easy to order and really uh, helpful when you're going out into a, um, an area and you're interested not just in the elevation like on a topographic map, but also what rocks are you walking around on. If, so if you're going out to explore, um, get your maps. Look ahead of time where you're going, what you're going to do.